Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another card featuring the adorable pop-up desk by Lawn Fawn. I have been a little bit obsessed with this one and have been loving finding different ways to use it. So here are a few photos from a previous card that I had made where I turned the desk into a kitchen bench and had an oven attached to it. Today I'm going to be doing something very similar, but instead of a kitchen, I'm making a laundry. And all of those little mice are going to get up to trouble again. To get started, I'm going to start stamping out all my images. I'm using a bunch from the Loads of Fun stamp set. Who would have thought a washing machine could be so cute? I'm using the washing basket as well, the little boxes with the suds and the dryer sheets, and some of the clothes. In addition to these, I'm using some of the bundle of joy stamps, the little onesie and the little blanket. The onesie is just one of those stamps I can't go past if I pull that stamp set out of my drawer. It's just so cute. I'm also stamping out a bunch of little mice from various stamp sets. My favourite is the little mouse holding the baby mouse. It's just like the onesie, I can't go past using it. It's just so cute. Just like always, I ink up my stamps twice so that my lines are nice and clear and thick. For my colouring today, same as always, I'm using my Copic markers and some regular alcohol markers. For my mice, I'm using the alcohol markers and I'm just using some from the Cool Grey family. A lighter one and a darker one, the darker one for some shadow and then simply blending them in with that lighter one just to create the tiniest bit of dimension. I am colouring in all my mice the same so I can skip over just a little bit. For the other items today I'm going for a little bit of a different colour scheme. I'm using some pastel yellow, blue and pink. I don't often use these colours together in this way but I thought they might be really cute. And I think you'll agree when you see the card complete that it looks really nice. I'll leave you with some music as I finish off my colouring. Once I had finished with all of my other images, I then stamped out a whole heap of bubbles. And if you've been watching all of my videos, then you may have noticed that I've had this stamp set from the last release as soon as it came out, but I haven't done the bubbles yet. And that is mostly because I find them ridiculously scary. I have been watching everyone do these amazing, beautiful bubbles, and I don't think anyone has done them the same way at all. They're just one of those things that I guess you can do whatever feels right and they look really cute. But for me, being a little bit of a perfectionist, I guess I was worried that whatever I would do would just flop. But I decided to do a whole heap and I did pink and blue on these and then I used my colourless blender to soften up the colours quite a bit before going over them with a white wink of Stella and then with my white jelly roll. I'd love to know what you think. How do you feel about the bubbles? Do they scare you too?
When making these cards, I find it really important to get all the bits and pieces ready so that everything kind of seamlessly comes together in the end. And so just as I was measuring everything up and about to start, I noticed that the washing machine was really tall and that if I were to put it with the desk set like I had with the oven last time, that it would just be so much taller in the front of the card. And I wasn't really sure about how to go about making maybe part of the desk taller or anything like that. At one point it was looking like I might not be able to get this work. Lucky for me though, I remembered that the oven fit perfectly last time and I thought with a little bit of playing around I can make it work. So when I stamped out the oven, I blocked out the door so that it wouldn't stamp. And then I made my own slightly smaller version of the front loader door. On this one using the biggest bubble stamp, a roll of fox and cactus washi tape, some markers, and then I think it looked pretty good. Before I stick my desk into my card, I feel like it's important to get all these details on while it's still flat, while I've got a good grip on everything, instead of trying to stick this on while it's already propped up. So here I am adding the drawers, adding some things hanging out of them, and sticking down these adorable little mice. For the top of the bench, I decided to use some black cardstock and I would probably not recommend doing this. I would recommend maybe colouring it in whatever colour you want with some markers, rather than using an additional piece of card because this made it really thick. And even though my card does close, it's quite bulky in that area. And I do feel with a lot of opening and closing, it'll probably pop off the back. So that's just something I need to remember for next time. I've also added some white cardstock to look like the top of the washing machine. doing the flooring I didn't know what to do my friend and I were going through my craft stash I really need to get my hands on the stitched wood grain die I think that would be wonderful for this but I didn't have that and the only wood grain cardstock I have is white and sometimes I worry about inking that up too much whether I'd get the look right so when I found the bricks we thought it might be a good idea to make them look like tiles so here I am using some lawn fawn manatee ink with the brick stencil and I think they turned out really cute For some reason I didn't record doing my sentiment but I went with may your day be filled with bursts of joy and here I am stamping around some of those popped bubbles around the sentiment. In the largest ones I'm placing that tiny word pop. Before this whole little scene comes together I need to stick down my background paper and today I'm going with this beautiful blue that can be found in the perfectly plaid remix that came out with the last release. I have been loving these papers and this blue just seems to go perfectly with the colour scheme that I'm using today. Now for the fun part, putting this whole little scene together. I start by gluing the back of the desk onto the background and lining up where I want these folded pieces to stick to the floor. I do know that there is a trick where you can fold it and it sticks in, but because it was thick, every time I tried doing that, it would just come off in all directions. So it was just easier for me to hold it while the card was open. As you can see, I saved the top of that washing machine and I've stuck it at the back with the little mousey poking over the top. I'm also using another little mouse like this and I'm sticking him on the top of my washing pile. I'm colouring in the little white bits under his face so that it matches. He's going to be up on the laundry bench. thought it would be really cute to have a little mouse looking like he's watching the washing spinning around. Maybe his favourite toy or blanket is in there, but he's waiting patiently on the floor. I added some clothes to the top of the washing machine and on the bench, just for some little extra details. Now I did this with the last card as well. I did a little vice rack at the top of the kitchen. Today I'm using the fireplace die again to cut out this little shelf, but instead I've got a little mousy and I'm putting the boxes of detergent and everything up there as well. Just because I feel like the top part of this card needs something in the background. Mm -hmm. 
Now I keep promising myself that I will master this whole 3D thing and be able to have little images halfway on top of the bench if that makes sense, halfway between the front and the background, but I know there's going to be folded pieces and all sorts of tricky things, so I'm going to save that for when I have more time. But for now, this little lip behind the top, the front of the washing machine, is perfect to stick little mousy feet behind so that they prop up. This just gives the card heaps more of a 3D look. Between these two mice, I'm putting a tiny little strip of acetate and then I'm sticking the bubbles on there so that it looks like one little mouse is blowing some bubbles that are floating in the air. The rest of the scene quickly came together when I added more bubbles. I was so focused on the inside of this card that I didn't think about what to put on the outside. I try to keep these cards very simple on the front because there is so much happening on the inside. There's no need to do a whole scene in my opinion anyway. So for this I'm adding some blue and white gold watercolour pigment flecks just to fill in all that white. I'm then using a small stitched scallop circle and stamping a little mousy on there. I'm keeping this little scene very simple, even just using a little bit of a grey marker to give him a shadow and some dimension. I'm going to give him some little bubbles to chase and then all of this is going to be stuck down on a strip of leftover paper that matches the background. And there we have it, this card is complete. Let's have a look at some better pictures of this one. I'm so happy with how this one turned out. If you like it too and you would like to see more tutorials very much like this one, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate you sticking around with me to see what I come up with next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.